So hello everyone, I am Nidhi and today we'll be learning about concept of development. So before that, let's discuss the overview of what is CDP all about. So child development theory, uh, which is of 15 questions out of 15 marks. Then comes inclusive education, uh, five marks that are five questions. And language pedagogy, which has 10 questions for 10 marks. So what is child development? So child development is basically um, overall development of a child and which is biological, psychological, physiological and you know, emotional changes that occur in human beings between birth and the adolescence. Child development is the field that involves the scientific study and areas of development are physical development, cognitive development, and personality and social development. Then come stages of a child development. So before birth, which is prenatal, uh, from zero to two years, it is infant. Three to five years, it is early childhood. From six to 12 years, it is considered as middle childhood. Uh, from 13 to 17 years old, it is considered as uh, adolescence age. And 18 and above uh, is adulthood. So what are principles of development? So first development principle is it is a continuous process from birth uh, to like death, from womb to tomb, basically. And development progresses in a step-by-step -step fashion. It is not like today we are at level one and tomorrow we'll be like directly at level 10. It is not like that. It comes step-by-step. -step. The rates of development vary among children. Not every child will develop like, to, like simultaneously and same way. Uh, they all like it varies from child to child. Then development proceeds from general to specific. So firstly, the development will happen on a general uh, stage, uh, on a very basic level, and then gradually it will uh, advance to the specific level. Then there is a constant interaction between all factors of development. All the factors of development are basically involved in uh, like in a uh, process of development. Development is influenced by both heredity and environment. It is not just one thing that affects the development. It is hereditary environment, both. So let's discuss these points uh, a little briefly. So development is a continuous process. As I said, it is a continuous process from womb to tomb. From the very moment a child is in the womb of, of a mother, uh, ever since the development starts taking place and till the time of death, it happens like it is a continuous process. So next comes uh, that the development is uh, a step, happens in a step-by-step -step fashion. So we are able to see that first a child is born, then it comes to like six-month age, then is able to do certain activities, then get advanced when it... Uh, is 12 month or one year old and so on like so on and so forth then comes rate of development vary among children so this is very important for us as teachers to know that not every student will perform the same or will be able to do the same activities at the same age as development may occur at different levels and different points in their lives so every child is unique with an individual temperature, learning style, family background, and patterns and growth timing and develops at different rate. So development proceeds in predictable steps and occur in recognized um, resources, but it varies at like in every child. Okay, so next is development proceeds from general to specific. So all of you must have seen uh, little children, you know, the, the young younger children, they are not very specific with their object holding. We are taking an example of uh, holding a cube. 
So a four month old child would be holding the cube with the entire palm and after growing up at one year of stage, it he or she will be able to use more fine motor skills that are using fingers for to hold the cube. Then comes there is inter there is a constant interaction between all factors of development. So by all factors of development, we mean socio economic cultural, environmental condition. So in everything, which is family, society, financial conditions, uh, the food he she, or she is uh, getting, everything is, uh, has, you know, everything has a constant interaction between each other to have a develop, uh, have a process of development. Now, development is influenced by both heredity and environment. So we are able to see this Wayne diagram that family, school, community, everything is coming together to influence the development of the child. It's not only one thing. And with this, our topic, our first topic is covered. And I hope you liked the video. And we'll see each other in the next video with another topic. Thank you.